So this video is in response to Odatoya. Not sure if I got that right. So the short version of the response to this video is if you are using the Lidocala II600, uh, slot number four, use that one. If you want to see how I got to those results, stay tuned. So to do each test, I did nothing fancy here. I just took it and marked all my cells so I could keep a consistent value based for my tables. I put it inside the slot, hit the test mode function and let it finish until it beeped or until I got a green light. At that point in time, I recorded it on my little handy dandy card that I had just sitting right next to my charger. And then I put everything onto a spreadsheet. All of the data that I recorded is just listed in this one table. Everything else that you see on the sides and wherever else is my calculations used to come up with the values below. So the first two tables that I'll show you here is average by cells, then by slot. And why this is important to know is because it does skew the information a little bit. I used a total of eight different cells, four for nickel metal hydride and four for lithium ion to get my averages. So average by cells then by slot. So the nickel metal hydride, I took all of the readings, which is 16 different ones. And you can see how the formula comes together. That gives me my average charge. And it also gives me my average discharge. Then what I took and worked that down into a percentage value and then sorted that percentage value with an average based on the slot. And that's what these tables are. So according to this slot number, uh, two and three are the most out of skew. One and four seems to be the most accurate and the same holds through for the lithium ion cells as well. I don't know if this is the most true way of getting a result, but I feel like a lot of users might do, the, do it this way. I thought about this for a while and I figured the more average or the more accurate way of getting information into this would be by averaging by individual cells and then averaging by the slot. So if you want to see the formula on how I came to that, first took every cell. The formula is listed up top here. I then took an average for those, then converted those into a percentage for the charge. And I did the same for the discharge based on the cell data only. Once I had that cell data, that got plotted into the uh, tables that you see on the side. And for this one, I could, you can still clearly see that uh, on both tables, slot two and three look like they're the outliers, kind of. Uh, the same is kind of true for the lithium ion as well. Two and three seem to be the outliers. One and four seem to be the most accurate. And four, it looks like, is the most accurate. You can also see that on the table if you want just raw numbers. Uh, number four for a lithium ion is very close, 99.48 to 99.28 based on the average. And same with number four on the nickel metal hydride at 101.3 and 98.62%. Other interesting fact that I did notice while I was testing a whole bunch of cells is slot one and four were the fastest, slot three was next up in line, and slot two took a full uh, another eight or 16, whatever it was, hours. I didn't see the results anyway till the next day on the slot number two. That was the last one to finish. And I loaded all four at the exact same time and I swapped them all out as quick as I could swap them out. So um, you can do with that information what you want. Overall, I don't think anything is horrible on the results. I think one, three and four would be acceptable in my eyes uh, as far as what the readings and stuff are on it looks like number two there's something going on with number two that would be my conclusion i still really like this charger i've been using it very consistently i've actually been using it since i uploaded the initial video that uh i'll throw it up on the card on the side of the review of this i still think it's a great charger i've really enjoyed using it if you're looking for accurate information on it uh, the most accurate information you're going to get is by taking slot number three and slot number four and taking the average of those on the charge and the discharge. But the only slot to avoid is probably number two. Other than that, it looks like the other ones are all, they're close enough that it's gonna give you at least some kind of a measurable result that's worth something.
Hopefully that answers your question as far as the data set. If you do want to do something with this data on your own, you're free to take these numbers and do with them whatever you want. If there's an error in my formula or a different way that you think I should be calculating it, leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to see how other people would interpret this data. <laughs>